And now for today's Bible question. Today we've been learning about the preaching ministry of Jesus as he began his public ministry in the regions around Galilee. We saw how Satan first tempted Jesus, but Jesus proved that he was perfectly sinless and thus qualified to represent God and preach his word. We saw how those in his hometown were upset with him and wanted to kill him, and yet others who loved him for his ability to bring healing and wanted him to stay in their town. Someone might ask the question, why is preaching so important? When Jesus began his ministry, he enters into the synagogues where the Jews met on the Sabbath day to listen to the word of God, and he reads from the word and then preaches to the people. We also saw how Jesus spent much of his time preaching to people all around his region and later would travel to Judea and other areas preaching. He also sent his disciples all around preaching. Clearly, it was very important to Jesus, and so it should be very important to us also. But why is preaching important? Preaching is important because it is one of the most effective ways for people to hear the Word of God. Today we are fortunate to have the Bible so widely available in printed form, and most people are able to read so they can have access to God's Word. Some people might find it difficult to work their way through such a large book and wonder what is important and what they need to hear. It might take some more than one year to read through the entire Bible, but God has sent forth his messengers to preach the word. This gives the Bible more of a voice to every town and village as his servants travel to these places and declare God's word. When a man is under the direction of the Holy Spirit, he shares the Word of God in just the right way for any particular occasion. We see this in the book of Acts when Philip is driven by the Holy Spirit to speak with an Ethiopian man who is reading from the scroll of Isaiah. Philip is able to explain the Word of God and preach to him about Jesus, and the man became the first African Christian and went away rejoicing. God loves to use men to bring his word to needy souls. Often people are not aware of their own spiritual needs, and God sends a preacher to help them hear and respond to God's message. Preaching is very important, for it is the way in which many people hear God's word declared. It also helps us each Sunday to hear God's word being spoken clearly and with spiritual power to help us grow as Christians and to stay close to the Lord. How easily we could forget God and forget about what he wants from our lives if we neglected to hear God's word. The nature of man is lazy and carnal, and if he is left to himself, in most cases, would be like a sheep that wanders away from the fold and gets into all kinds of spiritual danger. But our Good Shepherd uses men who are gifted by the Holy Spirit to speak the word of life into our hearts and keep us close and abiding in our Lord. Be thankful if you attend a church where you hear faithful and good quality preaching and teaching from God's word. This is the way God speaks to us and helps us to live our Christian lives. Many people have been led to Christ through faithful preaching and many have been directed to godly Christian living through good, solid Bible teaching. If in the church you attend, you see few people coming to faith in Christ or Christians who are living carnally, then you might ask yourself if the preaching is being led by the Holy Spirit or whether the preacher is being faithful to the Word of God. Sometimes I am prone to think that many view preaching as entertainment, some love to glory in the personality and charisma of the preacher. I believe few come to church with a real ear to listen to what God is saying. If we are sincerely listening to God, then we should respond in obedience to the preaching and not just go away thinking to ourselves that he is a fine preacher or my he dresses well. Preaching is about changing lives. And if it never changes you, then you are missing the point entirely. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed?
And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? Romans chapter 10 verse 14.